to Big Blippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. Whoa, look, a bird flying at night. Huh, it's a bat. Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa, whose lights are those? Hey, it's me, Blippy. I put my bright headlights on to find you. Oh, hey, Blippy. I'm Matt the Bat. I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure. I was wondering how bats fly in the dark. I can show you. But one thing, Blippy, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, crunch, look out. Whoa. Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up, rocks. Whoa, how do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too? Because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa, let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. Uh, uh, uh. You sleep upside down? Whoa, bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. Whoa, look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, us ducks do paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. Ah, ah, ah. Woohoo! 
it's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See you again. We make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers. Whoa, is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon! Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true! And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. <laughs> right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm, I wonder, how do birds build a nest? <laughs> Good idea. Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm going to need wings and a grabber arm. Wings. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Flippy, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build the nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go! A uh, nice birdie! <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired! Time to get the mud! Mud is landing in the nest! Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch! This guy again? Thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa! You use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo. Oh, hi there, I'm Rooney. What 
brings you to these parts in your cool looking car. Hi, Rooney. It's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. <laughs> we wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet you. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Whoa! <laughs> Rooney's hopping pretty high <laughs> and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Ooh, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slim Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit of Vegetables. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh, ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you got two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, Mr. Slim. Congrats to you. 
Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madame Mango, on Fruit or Vegetables. Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? <gasps> Achoo! Huh, something is making me sneeze. Hmm, I wonder, why do people sneeze? Yes, it's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Clippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Woo Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi. Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen. I may be small, but I can make big things happen! <laughs> Like a sneeze? You got it! When I'm around people, I bother them! <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses! Come on, bounce with me! Oh, don't worry, it's a nose, it's not gonna bite! Plus, it's fun! <laughs> so, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start! Since a sniff is coming! Watch out! That wasn't that bad! <laughs> it looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair! 
there. It's here to keep pulling like me, plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose. Oh, well, it won't work. Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Tickle more. Is the sneeze coming? It is. <laughs> na, 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 na. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, no. And I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. Bouncy sand dune. And even bouncier. Wow, what an amazing sandcastle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Shrinking down. Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi Krabby, it's me Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So let's dig. <laughs> Dig, 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 Hoo! Wow, what a hole! Now let's build a sandcastle! You're right, Tabs. We are gonna need a shovel. Finished! Success! You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat! And best sandcastle ever! Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder, what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, 
It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friend. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right. Thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here, wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> I scared a gray whale? And she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it, and <laughs> Smell it, too. <coughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down. Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer, Tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, 
chorus. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi. 